It was back to his brilliant best today, beating odds on favourite Hariba in the Lightning Stakes at Flemington. The race saw the return of another champion, jockey Mick Dittman, again aboard a Group 1 winner. Here are the closing stages. By Elamont. Here comes Mahogany down the outside and Keltrice is fighting on. Hariba beaten and Mahogany on the outside coming at these leaders. Mahogany! Mahogany wins the Lightning. Mahogany wins it by a half length. Elamont, Keltrice third. Still to come in the 5 o'clock news, tomorrow's weather forecast and how 15,000 Melburnians chose to spend Sunday. 7. The Lightning Stakes match Sprint Superstar Hariba with Mahogany, the reigning horse of the year and racing for the first time since October. Mahogany wins the Lightning. Mahogany wins it by a half length. Elanon Keltrice third. Mahogany started at 11 to 2, Alanon 20 to 1 and Keltrice 15s. Favourite Hariba finished fourth. And Roscoe McGlashan's attempt at the world land speed record has been... Well, it takes one or two bounds to... Uh, Hit his stride, then he'll go forward, the, the fave, Hariba, in the pink and grey colours. He goes in now, and they're set for the Lightning. Stand by for a start. Liner's good now. Set to go. Lights on. Racing. Went away nicely, Hariba out wide with Sequalo and bouncing quickly down on the inside. Caltrice and Brawny Spirit out fast. Elanon just behind those when they settle down and now Hariba and Sequalo are coming over from the outside when they settle down now and race to the 800. Brawny Spirit, Caltrice, Sequalo and Hariba's gone up now at the crossing to make a line of four as they go over that crossing now. Two to Elanon. Fighter Bay on the inside, a length and a half for the back, Mahogany, and a good gap to Auntie Mary. Onto the course proper they come. Hariba sitting four out, goes to Sequalo, Caltrice and Brawny Spirit the inside. They're two lengths in front of Allen on then Mahogany being called on and further back, Fighter Bay. Hariba's moved up now at the 300 metre mark to go up and join in the middle, Sequalo. Caltrice two lengths further back in the race, Allen on. Hariba's under pressure. He's under pressure now as Allen on goes up to Hariba who's struggling. And here comes Mahogany down the outside, Allen on in front. Mahogany's got them. Mah Mahogany's hit the front of the horse of the years, come home to win. Mahogany first up, a half length Elanon, and Eckaway third, Caltrice. Hariba the bubble bursts, he runs fourth from Fighter Bay. Then for the back, Sequalo, followed by Brawny Spirit, and Auntie Mary is last of all. They get that price too often about Mahogany, $6 and $1.60. Number six, Elanon, $2.20, and number three, Caltrice, $2.10. One mahogany to pay 335 and 80. Number six Alanon to return 110 and three Keltrice 95. 56.9 the time. And the favourite Hariba has missed the place. Numbers are one six and three. One six and three. Hariba is fourth. And mahogany put under pressure about 550 from home by McDittman as he tracked up behind Hariba. Hariba went to Sequalo, Keltrice and Brawny Spirit. Four in line. Pressure applied. He couldn't. Uh, he couldn't answer Hariba. Still no minus Karindai to the winner. The setter, and has won the Lightning Stakes, the Horse of the Year for last season. Mahogany returns in the Group One Lightning Stakes, and has powered away to get the prize. Second is number six, and that's Alanon R. Griffiths. And number three is third, Caltrice, written by Wayne Harris. Never to be denied, Mahogany, particularly at the top of his campaign the horse of the year last season a horse who has had plenty of knockers uh, through his career one wonders what he has to do this horse to get the accolades he really deserves he had back problems through the spring he was sent to the paddock and he has returned to win his 15th start from 25 races 15 from 25 is a great record and the horse of the year is back and let's join Brian Blackmore in the mounting yard with Lee Friedman. Okay, thanks very much, Brian. Congratulations, Lee. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. Uh, tremendous achievement to get the horse back to win first up. Did you really think he could do it? Yeah, I really thought. I said in an interview earlier, I said it was a I thought he had a chance, particularly the way the race was run. We wanted to... Okay, we'll pick up with Brian in a moment. The, um, the microphone just uh, playing up a little there. Let's enjoy this moment here as Mick Dittman brings back Mahogany by Last Tycoon from El Shindiga, raced by Mr and Mrs Lloyd Williams. So it's really a crown performance today, and Mr and Mrs Kerry Packer, Lee Friedman, the trainer, and the champion jockey Mick Dittman, has won the Group 1 race today on Mahogany with a super performance in 56.9. Mahogany about to come back down the famous Flemington race, and the big crowd are going to receive him well. Disappointment here with Hariba, 
who just didn't ping at the 300 metre mark when the pressure was applied. And he certainly is one of Australia's finest racehorses, Mahogany. And the crowd giving him the applause that he truly deserves here. And Nicky Dittman and trainer Lee Friedman as he returns from Elanon, number six, Rod Griffiths. And third, number three, Caltrice, ridden by Wayne Harris. Fourth in Hariba, number two, ridden by Simon Marshall. And the numbers now one, six and three. The tape dividends are 680. All right, we'll leave uh, Brian there. We'll... OK, let's have a look at an update on race. He's right now. And where do we go from here? We just keep going at him from here. We go straight in the futurity and then probably up to Sydney for the George Ryder. And, uh... There was never any intention to run him in the Australian Cup, was there? No, not this year. If he runs in anything, it may be the new market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets cut up rough. Well, Hariba, unfortunately, today was uh, the bubbles burst a bit, but uh, your horse is, is proven a proven champion, and uh, today, uh, you know, the people have got to pay respects to uh, to the champ. Long yeah. Time. Well, he didn't he didn't get fluked by by an ordinary horse. He's been beaten by a champion. Good luck with him. Thanks, mate. Okay, bro. Okay. Uh... This is Triple S, the Good Sports. Adelaide, three quarters.